What's up, Will? Wow, shit, dude. These uh, bulls do not want to play. We didn't get a single response. Dropped in their own time tree, went into their own rubs, and uh, couldn't turn them up. So we're gonna try to make a play on this other bull that we saw earlier today. And across the canyon, a thousand yards, I just glassed up a pretty nice buck, just with my naked eye. He just bedded down, and he's good enough to go after. So we're gonna try to make a play. It's not really conducive for stalking, but we'll make the most out of it. And there's another bull up there anyway, so we'll see what happens. Sweet. Just dropped our packs on this buck. We're about 150 yards out. We're in the bottom of this canyon, so it's loud. He's up here to our left. The wind seemed to be pretty good going this way. Storm rolling in. I gotta make sure these winds stay consistent and uh, should be able to get in pretty tight. Wow. Let's do it. <laughs> all over it but not much and then fletching's fine I did feel like the shot was a little high steep steep angle I watched that deer bound away 
never fails me, seem to miss once again. Got a lethal shot, it's about 26 yards downhill at a steep angle, and it must have just gone right through backstrap. I watched him after 10 minutes, and he was just chilling down there, and then I watched him bound away like it was nothing. I got a good look at him, no blood, no nothing, no exit wound. I uh, don't want to tell you guys, apologize again, never miss. To recap that story, guys, um, I ended up falling on my bow a day prior or two days prior, and I remember falling on it, but didn't think much of it. Uh, didn't realize how bad it was until that next day we shot the blocks at camp, and I couldn't even hit a 30-yard target with a broadhead. It was hanging super far wide right and a little high, and that makes sense exactly how I missed that buck. Um, Ended up shooting the field point and it was still super far off. So um, we watched some video footage after we were at camp and shot my arrow again and it was coming out super sideways with the broadhead and it totally makes sense. Unfortunate situation, um, definitely always check your guys' bow after you've fallen when you get back to camp if you can or if you have a block with you. Um, I've done it tons of times before and bow's been perfectly fine and off, but unfortunately this is the way I had to figure it out the hard way on a pretty nice buck. But um, thanks for watching and um, be careful out there. Enjoy.